In this video, we're going to use the TI-83 Plus, it's also the same as the 84 family of calculators, to calculate uh, expressions involving radicals. And so these are not just going to be simply radical expressions, they're going to be a, a set of radicals and integers or rationals. In our case, integers. So you can basically input it as ex exactly how you see it in the calculator. So I put 1 plus, and then to activate the square root, I press second, x squared. It's blue on the 84 silver. And then I can just put in my 5. I always suggest closing those parentheses, press enter. And there's our answer. And that makes sense. The square root of 5 should be a little more than 2. Add 1, it should be a little more than 3. Okay, so now for the second one here, there's a couple of different ways you can input it, and I always recommend choosing a way and always doing it that way. The less you change, the better off you'll be. I always use parentheses because I don't trust the calculator. I don't know enough about its programming, and therefore I'm going to force it to do exactly what I want it to do. It does know the order of operations. So, 2 plus and I'm going to put three times, and in parentheses, I'm going to put my radical. I'm going to force it to do it first. I'll show you. It doesn't matter later. I'll do this again. So 2 plus 3 times, we, to enter the fourth root, first you place the index, then press math, choose option 5 by scrolling or pressing the number 5, and then in parentheses, I always recommend using parentheses, put your 16. Close the parentheses of the, rad of the radical. Press enter. And so the fourth root of 16 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. And so that's true. Now I'm, I'm going to do it a second time. But instead of using 3, uh, instead of using three and parentheses, I'm going to simply use 3 times. 2 plus 3 times 4 math, 4 x root, and then 16. Enter. And you get the same thing. It knows that the radicals are on the same level as the exponents. And so it's just going to go ahead and calculate that first and then multiply it by 3. If you don't want to use the parentheses, eh, you don't have to. But I like to simply just show that it is a group. It is a single unit. Now in this next one, we've got negative 8 minus, and I always use parentheses, and so I take my fifth root, which is 5, press math to activate the x root in option 5, hit 5 or scroll. And then inside I put negative 243. And I close the parentheses around the negative 243, close the parentheses around my radical, and then I press enter and I get negative 5. I knew that I was going to get negative 5 because the, ne the fifth root of negative 243 is negative 3. Negative 8 minus a negative 3 is negative 8 plus 3, which is negative 5. So I'm going to do it a second time, and let's see if the parentheses really matter. And so we get negative 8 minus 5 math, option number 5, and in parentheses negative 243, and press enter. And I still get negative 5. So as you can see, the parentheses around it don't necessarily matter. I just do it because it's better for me. I see it as a unit rather than simply a, a continuation of the thing.